Good morning, everybody. It's great to be back down at the Lord's house again today. We're just thanking God for this privilege of getting to come and uh, thanking the Lord for you that are out there today that has took time to uh, turn us on and be a part of our service. Every one of you out there this morning that are watching and praying for us and are lifting us up while you're a part of this service today. It wouldn't be what it's going to be without you. And we do love you and praise the Lord for you today. We've got a lot to pray about. Uh, like you remember, Sister uh, Faye Gill reads, she's down in the hospital there at Rome and uh, uh, looking to do a heart cath on her tomorrow. Just pray that the Lord will touch and help and everything go well there. Also want you to pray uh, for uh, Sonia, I did more, and pray for her needs today. And God will touch her and Wayne and the family and their little granddaughter as they, uh, she'll be going testing, uh, getting tested for hearing. Uh, well, uh, see what they can do. One ear has no hearing, the other is 30%. But we'd like you to remember to pray for this need and keep praying for us, keep praying for Joanne, that the Lord would bless and help, that we could see improvements and great things happen. And we're thanking God for all he has done and trusting him for all that he's gonna do. Uh, real, I believe in that he is. I still stand on the word of God. and I take God at his word. So I uh, do pray for pray for her and pray for me. Pray for all of our family that's lost, that we might see them saved. Uh, God knows there's uh, a great need of salvation out there in our family and your family and other families today. Pray for our church and that the Lord would touch and help. We got unspoken requests in our church. We got sick folk in our church. We got people that have lost their loved ones, Marilyn and her family and uh, the member of the Dwayne uh, family there, Hargrave, as he's passed away. And do pray uh, today, uh, David said Joyce had been sick. Uh, remember them and uh, pray the Lord would touch and continue to bless and help. Today, Sister Rosie, uh, pray for her. And Wayne's been fighting this old scruddy stuff for a while. Let's remember him. And, and let's just keep praying the Lord would bless us in all things. So uh, you're a special guest today if you're lost. Well, you're you're a special guest no matter who you are, but you're very special if you're lost, that God's given you one more opportunity to be saved. And we do thank the Lord for that. So we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and ask God to touch and help. And we thank you for uh, your comments. We thank you for your cards and letters that you send. And we do appreciate you more than you know today. So let us pray together. Lord, we're thankful that you let us come this morning. We ask only that your will be done, that you'd strengthen our body, anoint our hearts, our mind, and season us with your power and your goodness. We pray for every need that's out there today. We pray for these that's in the hospitals, the homes, and the rest homes. And God, we just bring these things to you today in earnest prayer, believing that you're going to answer and touch and make things quite right. And Father, we pray for uh, these in our church that are sick and other churches today. And I pray for Mr. Norton there, God, that the request had come for their Ralph and for his wife. And I pray for others, God, uh, Bud there, uh, God, that uh, you're moving in his life. And thank you for this and that prayer request. And pray for Steve Ezell that you would touch there. Uh, that prayer request. And then, God, we pray you'd comfort where death has come. We pray you'd touch hearts of, uh, in our nation. And, God, that eyes would be open. And, Lord, I pray for churches that would all come and stand upon thus saith the Lord and be uh, earnest in our mission and our calling to preach the word of God. We ask you now to save to the uttermost, O oh Lord. We claim victory already in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, we want to send it out to uh, Brother Clyde this morning, uh, Sister Bobby. Uh, we appreciate y'all today. Mary Ann, we'll send it to Sister Alice and Sister Joe and Charles and Linda, Brother Dewey this morning. And we appreciate you from the bottom of our heart today. And, uh, we want to send it to Leon and Liz. I know they'll be listening to the radio. And uh, I do want you, like I say, remember uh, Faye and, and Jim and Pray for them, and Wanda, we send it to you, Jean, if y'all get in the watch, and Sister Kathy Blackman, and I appreciate all, all of the comments that y'all give us, and uh, Aaron and Kathy, and also Jennifer Nicely and the children, and I appreciate y'all, like I said, Rosie and Wayne, and uh, David and Joyce, if you get to listen, and 
uh, uh, Wayne and Sonia uh, this morning, and also Joe and Sonia. And we appreciate y'all, Lloyd and Nancy, if y'all get in the watch or listen. We appreciate y'all and send it out to you today. And may God bless you as our prayer. Also to Charles, if he's getting to uh, watch us this morning. And uh, Doris, we send it to you. Uh, and all, also to Connie and Buck and uh, Peggy and their families. And uh, Buck's wife. And also over to Sheila, if she's getting to watch. And my sister Judy and Tracy and any of my family that might be watching uh, there also we appreciate all of you and may god bless you as our prayer and i hope that the lord is touching you out there today um johnny uh, and uh, jeanette and johnny and Dee, and we appreciate y'all and hope the lord's blessing touching you ava and dennis we send it to you we sure do appreciate all the scriptures and uh, the prayers that, that you give us and ava that you send to us today also may god bless you is our prayer amen <laughs> Well, I'm in another land. I cannot see the sun. My eyes find no more tears to cry. My heart just feels so numb. The longer the valley, the darker it feels. When shadows all around me, spirit bids me. I keep praying Well I seem so unfair I keep praying Long I know you answer prayer I keep praying When the world around me falls I keep praying Is my David, I hope you're feeling well. I meant to text you yesterday, David Woodard, and uh, I, I just didn't get around to doing everything. And we were, actually came down to the church. Me and Joanne was here yesterday and kind of set up a prayer base and got to pray with some people on the phone and uh, uh, got to have prayer here in the church for other needs. And we really enjoyed uh, our time getting to come down and here in the church and uh, try to minister to the needs of the people. So uh, we do pray that the Lord will touch you and help you. We're planning on doing that. Uh, uh, as um, I don't know if we maybe can this next week. Uh, we'll uh, put it on the church uh, bulletin there on the page. And we're going to try to uh, come down at one day and uh, out of the week and uh, spend some time at the church and have it to where if you need to come talk or pray, why we'll be here to help you in any way that we can. So uh, do pray for us. All right. Uh, 
I know there's other names, and I'm sorry, my, my mind just goes completely blank, and I, I get here, I know Jimmy's probably going to be listening on the radio, and Terry, and uh, we do appreciate y'all, and I do hope that the Lord is touching and helping every one of you. Please forgive me if I, I don't mention your name. I, I, I love you, and I thank you, and I praise the Lord for you. And, uh, uh, Rita and her husband sent us a card, and I do appreciate that uh, from the bottom of my heart. And Aaron and Joanne sent us a card, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart also today. So may God bless you. It's not just what Norfolk was saying. God likes working us now. Who? I'll see if I can find it, Sonia, here just in a minute for you, okay? Well, once my clothes were ragged, the world looked down on me. I had no hope for the bottom, not for eternity. Then grace came with mercy. And her disordered bones bleed. And now I've been the doctor. From knowledge I've been sent free. Now I'm no more a door. Someone has rescued me. songs so many times you think I know exactly which book everything is in but I don't uh, but uh, may God bless you as I pray okay son well, it's good to be here again this morning and I thank God for this opportunity to be in this house it's a privilege and I love him and I love all y'all and uh, send it out to who I'm going to send it out to Randy, Cindy, and Wanda and to Keith and Rosie Chapman and Miss Cook and David I know David's on there uh, already and uh, appreciate him. We send it out to uh, uh, all the folks down south to uh, uh, Mary and her husband Gene and to their uh, sister Diane and her husband Johnny and to JB and uh, his wife. And I'm not sure. I, I guess y'all need to explain. I, I may have got, I thought, um, is Ralph and JB the same person or are they two different people? And I thought, I was thinking Ralph went by the name JB, but I may be wrong. But anyway, Ralph that they put on there that he said with the cancer and the, and his wife on Dallas is like she is. Uh, y'all are on our hearts and we, we love y'all and appreciate you. And, uh, we sent it out to Charlotte. Amen. And uh, to uh, 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 J.D. and Ellen. Miss Judy Potter. Judy Potter. Uh, Judy Potter. Judy Potter. Comment on the program last week. Judy, we love you appreciate you. May God bless you today too. Very good. I guess that's why I wasn't finding the song, because it wasn't called what I thought it was called. Uh, I guess that makes a difference, Sonny. Um, 
if I can get my finger for it, I want to apologize. Uh, maybe Kia, but E this one. <laughs> Let my soul in the balance, my accuser make his case. It was clear that I was guilty from the look on my face. I was sure of my sin and resigned to my fate. In the You always loved Debbie to sing it, and I sang it every night. And Debbie, you sang it for me. Uh, oh, Though the crowd was great, she knew she had to reach him. But this was her last hope of ever being here. So she pressed through until she touched his garment. And oh, right then and there, her miracle was There's a miracle in the making. Just for you, the Father is working even now. You crash him in her, and he answers on the way. Oh, there's a miracle in the making of you today. We'll have you. Just keep holding on. 
y'all today from the bottom of our heart. We do want to keep praying for Ralph and uh, all these others and pray for our church and pray for the sick and afflicted. So much to pray about out there today. Uh, this was Sonia's song that we sang for her mother. Uh, and uh, as I've always said, the words ain't right like if you hear it, if you hear it on the radio. But, but uh, you know, that's their song, the way they do it. And this is our song, the way we do it. So, Sonia, may God bless you here today. You've been to the doctor. He just shook his head. On the night you've been suffering with pain in the bed. You hold on to faith. Look for our miracle. to you. Sonia, we're praying and 
I know God is going to move and touch and help, and uh, I, I just praise Him for what He's doing. And God has been so good to us and so good to me. Amen. Well, it's got to be glad on. I think I've done this on a time or so since I wrote it off. But uh, y'all forgive me if I mess up. I I miss the chord every now and then, and uh, so uh, and I, 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 sometimes I'm not even in the right tune, but. We're doing it for the Lord, so we're doing the best we can. Amen. Will I be a soldier in God's mighty armory since I made long years ago? And I've been a star and wounded in battle many times. I've been brought up by the signs of the time. I then realized I was. too sometimes I think but I like it and it's uh, you know the more we go through this life we're not promised that life will be easy down here but we're promised we've got a better one to come if we follow Jesus Here would 
not get caught to find. He never offered pictures without fight. Said they would always come in time. So remember when you stand in the valley of the station and the adversary says, Give in. Just hold on. God will show up and he will bring you through the fire again. I know within myself and I'm not sure to perish. I'll trust the mighty hand of God to chill the flame again. He never promised that the cross would not get heavy. That he
feeling ain't that the truth today. I'm glad that uh, I, I was on his mind, and I'm praising for that today. I, I do. Amen. Uh, may God bless you today, and may God help you, and God touch you uh, in a mighty, mighty way. Amen. This is, I'm going to do this song for, uh, it's a reminder to me and uh, my family, my wife, and the things that we're going through, and I want it to be a reminder to you out there for the things that you're going through that, uh, you know, that uh, the Lord's still in control, and He's still passing by, and I just love him today. Alan, put on there, please be in prayer for Steve Easy, well, Alan Gardner. He's been in the hospital for a month. He went in for bypass surgery and has, been, uh, has, had, has had all sorts of complications. I've been following y'all, uh, Alan, I've been following that on our page, and uh, we do, and I said a while ago, remember Steve Easel, and I uh, would like for you to do pray for him. I've been going through a whole lot. Pray for him. Pray for the family uh, today also. Amen. When Jesus passed by, the head would arrive. From that were blind, he opened their eyes. And uh, we send it out to them, and may God bless you. In in your arms is what it's called. Well, when the sea is raging, waves are crashing round. When my heart is heavy, it's will be going down. Help me to remember, however. Your heart is great to me. Make me feel 
like being in God's house, whether it's this early or whatever time we can get here, uh, to be in the house of the Lord, to try to do something for the Lord Jesus Christ. We hope that we have done something already or said something to help you, to make your day a better day, a brighter day, to encourage you and to strengthen you. Uh, you know, none of us know what we're going to be facing in this life. None of us can... Uh, today, uh, know that we're just going to live out a life pain free and unburdened and then just go to sleep one night and close our eyes and go on out and be with Jesus. We, we don't know that. That's what we want. That's what we hope for. But we just don't know that, do we? So you pray for us this morning as we try to talk to you just a little bit. Out of Matthew chapter 15, when we'll be in verse 21. Listen to what the Bible says today. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Then she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Bid unto thee even as thy will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you that you allowed us time to come again today. But God, our heart is heavy this morning because there's such a great burden out there of the sick and the afflicted and the pain and the suffering that we know of. And God, our, our, we feel that. And God, our, our love for these people will help us to want to bear that burden and, and pray for them and to lift them up. And God, I ask you to strengthen them and touch them. And then there's those that are lost this morning. God, the heart beat away from hell. But yet they keep ignoring you and turning you away and rejecting your call to be saved. And Father, we ask that this might be the day that someone would open the door of their soul and ask you to come in. And 
God, you know the need in our, our, our family is so great. And God, we just ask that you touch them, God, and others out there today. And Father, visit the homes, the hospital, and rest homes. Lead God and direct. And God, bless in our church and our services. And God, thank you again for this great day. We love you and praise you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I may slow down a little bit. I don't know. But I, I want to talk to you about the crumb seekers. I want to talk to you along this line. Blessed are the crumb seekers. Amen. You thought about that. You know, uh, Charlotte, you, you told me about uh, uh, a guy preaching about the fragments. Uh, taking up the fragments. And, and God inspired me to talk about these crumbs. Amen. And I hope I can say something to be a help to you. You know, sometimes we fail to see just how important that crumb seekers are when it comes to faith in God's Word. You know, I, I, I want you to understand that there is power that comes from being a crumb seeker when it comes into having faith in the Word of God. I believe Jesus has given to us here a beautiful picture of just how He sees those that are determined despite the obstacles uh, and to cry out and to hold on. I believe the Lord wants us to see that. What do you think? Uh, how, friend of mine, a beautiful picture of how that they are determined and, and it don't matter what comes in their way. This woman was rejected by the disciples. Amen. They uh, even went to the Lord and, and asked him to send her away because she cried at her, because she had a need, because she had a burden, because her heart was broken, because her daughter was possessed, vexed grievously with the devil. But friend of mine, she had a determined spirit. And to fight the obstacles, she cried out and held on to the Lord. I don't believe that Jesus has ever worked any, any miracle or anything by means of a coincidence. I, I don't believe there's no such thing as a coincidence with, with God. A coincidence is something that just uh, uh, happens, uh, uh, a friend of mine, but nothing just happens with God. I want you to understand that today. I, I believe every step of the Lord is with purpose and intent, as I've told you so many times before. So therefore, I believe that it was no surprise that this woman of Canaan uh, came out from the coast of inside them. She had this great need in her life, but she knew where to come and to lay down her burden. I think today that we need to come back to terms with God, get our hearts where God wants us to be, and realize that there is a place that we need to uh, bring our burdens. So many times we carry them everywhere except the Lord, and nobody can help you. Nobody can help you but God. It's got to be in the will of God, a uh, friend of mine, for His help to be the day. Her words were, O Lord, Thou Son of David. Listen to how she addressed the Lord. She cried out, have mercy on me, and told him the problem. Amen. The Lord wants us to tell him. You say, God already knows my need. Yes, he does. But God wants us to tell him our need. God wants us to pray earnest and affectionately uh, to the Lord. She said, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. As I said, friend of mine, had it been the up to the disciple, they uh, just sent her away. But uh, she just continued to cry out. And uh, friend, they didn't see her heart as Jesus did. And in fact, nobody ever does. Nobody can see your heart like Jesus does. The world may tell you to shut up. The church may rebuke you. I, your family may turn against you. But God knows your heart. God sees your heart uh, for what it really is. And God saw her heart and, and knew her heart. Bless God today. And I, I thought about this. Jesus told them, I, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I, if, you, if you read that in a different uh, uh, way, you can say, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, why, it would lead you to believe that God didn't love nobody but Israel. But that's not right. A friend of mine, he said, I'm not sent, uh, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What he was saying was that, a uh, friend of mine, that it was going to be open, salvation was going to be given, grace and mercy was going to come uh, uh, to whosoever will. It should have came through the Jews, but a friend of mine, it didn't. They rejected him. They turned him away. They wouldn't have anything to do with him, but the message has got out, and us Gentiles today have heard the word of God, and from here and we've got faith and from faith we got grace and uh, grace brought forth mercy and therefore uh, we've been forgiven, set free and uh, uh, become heirs to the kingdom of God by being sons of God through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. I, I believe the Lord was declaring unto them his love I, I for whosoever will ain't you glad that God has love this morning? I, I for whosoever will. She came to him uh, and said Lord help me. I, I, after he said this he said Lord 
Lord, help me. And Jesus said, it's not meat to take the children bread and cast it to the dog. A friend of mine, that was not a slur. When he talking about dogs, he wasn't downrating her. That was the common name given to the Gentile, but he wasn't downrating her. But her words were undeniable words of faith. Listen to what she said. She said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Uh, she wasn't asking the Lord to uh, uh, put her before anyone, but declaring the certainty that even though she was a Gentile and not a Jew, that uh, still her hearing of this man called Jesus, uh, her knowing of his wonderful works and how his mighty power had been revealed, that uh, never a man spake like this man. No one had ever done uh, the works that he had done. And in her heart she believed that he could help her daughter. Right? And she purposed, friend of mine, to do everything within her power. Right? Uh, to get to Jesus and plead her call. Uh, uh, we just stop short-handed sometime. Uh, uh, we quit a prayer away sometime, don't we? Uh, uh, we sit on the pews where we're led to the altar, but we won't come and pray. Uh, hey man, we, uh, uh, we don't testify because uh, we're worried about what somebody might think about us. Uh, a friend of mine, who cares about those things today? Uh, uh, my relationship is between me and God. Uh, uh, my relationship, friend of mine, uh, uh, the fire that's kindled in my soul, uh, I comes from my love for God I, and the love that God has for me today. I, I want to say I love Him because I do. I'm, I'm not trying to win no popularity come down. I, I'm not trying to appease the crowd or to appease the church. I, I just want to stay in the favor of God. I, I want to be where God can use me and God can help me and God can hear my prayer. And I, I can pray for you today and I hope you can pray I, I, for me. Amen. I, I, Jesus said, O woman, great is thy faith. Listen to it. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a far sight from what the disciples thought, ain't it? Uh, uh, they wanted to send her away because she was asking. And uh, uh, now the Lord is rewarding her, said, Great is thy faith. Uh, uh, Bid unto thee even at thy will. Uh, and the Bible said her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Uh, uh, blessed are the crumb seekers. Can you see a man? A uh, uh, friend, she is just a crumb seeker. Uh, uh, there she had heard from a uh, 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 friend of mine from others. Uh, uh, she had heard the testimony uh, and her faith was begin to grow and build and a fire was ignited in her soul uh, and she began to believe in the Lord and the power of God. Uh, how true the fact is uh, how that little is much when God is in it. Uh, I thought about the crumbs of God's favor uh, and listen to this. Uh, uh, the crumbs of God's favor is worth more uh, than the whole loaf uh, uh, without it today. I want you to understand that. Uh, I'd rather have the crumbs of God's favor uh, has to have everything this world had. How uh, to uh, possess everything that uh, uh, money could buy. Uh, I'd rather just have the crumbs of God's favor in my life. Uh, I believe this Gentile woman uh, uh, gave ear to what the Lord had said. Uh, I believe her heart was flooded with confident trust uh, uh, that whatsoever uh, uh, he had done for others he'd do also for her. Uh, have we got confident trust this morning? Uh, I realize it's hard. Uh, I realize these trials are very testing uh, and tempting today. Uh, I realize life uh, I is unkind in so many ways. Uh, but I'm serving the Savior. I'm serving the Lord. Uh, I'm serving the one that has all power today. Uh, I'm serving the one that can speak and it shall be done. Uh, I'm serving the one that made my body uh, uh, from the dust of the ground uh, and put inside me an everlasting soul uh, uh, that when the body is perished again, uh, and dust returns to dust, uh, uh, that I'll still be living on uh, uh, because of the eternal soul that the Lord Jesus Christ uh, has given to me, amen. Uh, he not only gave me a soul, but he saved it, uh, and cleaned it up, uh, and sealed me by the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, that I can say I'm saved today, tomorrow, uh, and forever. Uh, I'm a part of that crowd called the redeemed, uh, and the Bible said, let the redeemed say so, uh, uh, you ought to comment today and tell me uh, 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 and tell the world uh, uh, that you're redeemed, that you're washed in the blood, uh, uh, that you're saved uh, and you're on your way to heaven. Don't be ashamed uh, of what the Lord has done. Uh, uh, lift up your hands and praise the Lord uh, uh, wherever you are this morning. Uh, uh, greater is he that's in you uh, uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, uh, lift up your eyes, uh, a friend of mine unto God. Uh, uh, those hands that are 
you hanging down huh? until your knees lift them up and bring praise and glory huh? and honor to the Lord. Huh? He is worthy, amen, to be prayed. Huh? Oh, how good it would do your soul huh? to have a spiritual release this morning. Huh? I defend this, I to magnify the name of the Lord. Huh? I invite the Holy Ghost right there where you are. Huh? I pray to mine and shout the blessings of God. Huh? You don't have to be where somebody can hear you. Huh? Uh, the best time I've had ain't been nobody there but me and the Lord. Huh? I pray God just wants to hear from you. Huh? Uh, God just wants a heart that's on you. Huh? And a heart that's true. Amen today. Listen. Huh? I believe this woman life. Huh? I was forever changed there that day. Huh? As a crime seeker. Huh? As she began to sit at the true master's table. Huh? And reap the reward of her faith. Huh? As she come from eating crumb. Huh? Out from under the master's table. Huh? I'm talking about the Jude. Huh? I was sitting at the real master's table. Huh? As she put her feet under the table of the Lord. Huh? I came to mind and she began to eat. Huh? And she found the satisfaction that she needed. Huh? I came to mind and God saw her faith. Huh? And faith moves the heart of God. Huh? And when the heart of God is moved, huh? the coffers of heaven huh? I begin to spill over. Huh? And God will answer prayer. Amen. 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 Huh? Oh, thank God this morning. Huh? How blessed are the crumb seekers. Huh? Her daughter was grievously vexed. Huh? Huh? What if your daughter was grievously vexed with the devil? Huh? Happened, and then she'd been set free. Huh? Huh? Wouldn't that put a shout in your heart? Huh? Wouldn't that put a testimony in your mouth? Huh? I'm sure it would. Huh? Huh? Friend, listen. Huh? Huh? For every soul that's been set free. Huh? Huh? Demons have been cast down. Huh? You see, before you as a child of God, huh? you as a child of the devil, huh? before you was walking in the light, huh? you were walking in the darkness. Huh? But when Jesus came into your heart, huh? the devil had to flee. Huh? And that ought to put a shout in your life. Huh? You're no longer a tabernacle of the devil, huh? but a tabernacle of the Holy Ghost of God. Huh? You are his and he is yours. Huh? And you are the Father. Huh? I'm glad that I'm not getting into all of the uh, huh? I pray but the crumb seeker. Huh? Lazarus was a crumb seeker. Huh? I laid at the rich man's gate, huh? asking only for the crumbs that fell from his table. Huh? Huh? But he was rejected. Huh? Huh? He got nothing. Huh? I pray to mine, but there came death. Huh? And when death found him, huh? Huh? the angels carried him up huh? Huh? into Abraham's bosom. Huh? I pray to mine, huh? Huh? this is wording huh? 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 representing the paradise of God. Huh? A friend of mine, listen, uh, uh, he was carried up into paradise. Uh, uh, the same paradise that Jesus told the thief. Uh, uh, down on the cross, uh, he said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Uh, oh, listen, uh, uh, the thief lied in on some crumbs, didn't he? Uh, uh, yes, right there in the last minute. Uh, uh, Lazarus was a crumb seeker. Uh, uh, but blessed are the crumb seekers. Uh, uh, from a life of sword. Uh, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Uh, where dogs had to come and lick him, huh? I'd give him any comfort, huh? To a life of hunger and want, huh? A pain and suffering, huh? To be delivered to the bosom of Abraham, huh? Oh, thank God today, huh? From here to there, huh? That all by God's grace, huh? Blessed are the crumb seekers this morning, huh? I'm not ashamed, huh? To be a crumb seeker this morning, huh? I'm seeking the things that everybody else is looking over, huh? Everything else be more leaving behind. Huh? I'm still holding on to the values huh? of the old fashioned values. Huh? I still want to stand in the way huh? and look for the old path. Huh? I still want to preach salvation. Huh? I still want to preach redemption. Huh? I still want to preach the shedding of the blood. Huh? I still want to preach the old rugged crawl. Huh? I still want to preach there's a heaven to gain huh? and a hell to shun a man. Huh? I still want to stay in the contents of this Bible. Huh? I still want to fulfill my commitment mission, huh? as a God called and Holy Ghost sent preacher. Huh? Well, I lift up the name of you. I know our time is out. Huh? But I tell you, I'm a crumb seeker. Huh? And I'm rejoicing. Glory be to God huh? over the crumbs that is fell in the depths of my soul here this morning. Huh? I believe God's going to move. Huh? And God's going to move for you. Huh? I will try to be back after a while. Huh? Until then, may God bless you. Huh? I've count the blessings of God. God, I lift 
lift up his name. Huh? Get on that, te uh, that telephone huh? and let somebody know you love Jesus. Huh? Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you today.